Hi there, and welcome back to Weird Soda for Life. It's Stump. It's Stump. It's Stump. It's in a can. It's Stump. It's Stump. It's Stump. It's in my hand. Ah? Ah? Ah, you get it. And look, the can all be gems. I tell you that every week. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Weird Soda for Life. Today we are trying a Stump Town Strange Magic. It's a Cascara soda. And if you haven't heard of that, that makes two of us. Um... Surprisingly enough, this is not from the shipment of sodas I was expecting, though that did arrive. Uh, I got this at Whole Foods. I was there looking for some bougie pies for Friendsgiving um, and uh, got thirsty. And so I went to like the cold drinks aisle and I discovered this soda amongst all of the cold coffee drinks. You know the ones. Um, and I was like, this is misshelved. I have to liberate this soda. So I did. Um turns out that is actually uh i was wrong so um cascara let's talk about that for a hot second uh, coffee beans coffee beans are grow inside of a fleshy fruit um often referred to as the cherry um but and then when the coffee beans are husked the fruit gets thrown out and the bean goes to make coffee um Cascara is that fruit, so it's referred to as a cherry or as as that. But um, yeah, so they're making sodas out of this now. It is naturally um, caffeinated, and also had a lot of those like antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, prebiotic, like everything's good for you with this, which reminded me a whole lot of our immune June experience with all of those prebiotic and probiotic sodas. So who knows? Um, may have done something I regret. But with that, let's take a look at the can. I think the design is uh, pretty cool. I like it has good luck, uh, good conditions, hello, good day, yes, yes. Um, I like it. it. It really does evoke a sort of like um, tarot card, a witchy writing tome-esque sort of vibe. Um, so I, I very much like that. And it says on the side, Part the beaded curtain and give the old mine cauldron a hearty swirl. This elixir made from the fruit of the coffee cherry is about to bestow you with a beautiful buzz. And see, this is where if I had looked closer at the can when I picked it up, I would have realized ahead of time why this was in the coffee because it says Stumptown on here, but their actual name is Stumptown Coffee Roasters. So if I had been paying attention, perhaps it would have uh, occurred to me. Uh, I, for one, am interested in how this is going to taste. I'm not a huge coffee fan, um, but uh, I'll try anything at least once, right? So. It smells a little, um, vinegary is not the right word, but it does smell a little not coffee-esque. It smells... Maybe balsamic vinegary. So it's got a little bit of that sweet undertone. Uh, let's see what happens when we uh, pour a little bit of it to breathe. Oh, let's see. Oh, so apparently this is actually brewed cascara tea, sugar, citric acid, and natural flavors, which leads me to believe that essentially what I'm doing is drinking a uh, fizzy tea. I'm not a huge tea fan either, so we're... I really, maybe I've set myself up for something that's not going to be great, but uh, do look at that color, though. It's a lighter brown. It really does look like a Coke. Yeah, mostly sweet and an undercurrent of fruit. All right, here we go. That's not for me. <laughs> um, uh, that was sour. And like, it was, how could something be fizzy and sour and yet slightly bland? Like, I don't, I don't like this. It, it's not the worst thing I've ever had. Um, and I could see where there would be a market for somebody. And I will say, Naturally caffeinated or not, it did make my eyes go wide. Um, 
but it's not sour enough to be like a good sour soda. It's not fully flavored enough to be a soda. I I don't know who this is for, but it's uh it's not for me. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but the can design is real good. And again, perhaps if I I'm not sure because it doesn't taste like coffee either. It just kind of tastes a little bit like sour balsamic vinegar. And like that is not it for me. Thank you. Um, anyway, uh, now that I've went and gotten my bougie soda life on, next week we're going to go completely the opposite direction. And I'm going to try dirt soda. That's right. Soda that supposedly tastes like dirt. <laughs> Until next time. Uh, drink weird, and maybe if the soda looks like it doesn't belong in a section, maybe it does, and you just leave it there because you don't need that in your life. See you next time. <laughs>